When we were coming down, I was talking to the guy that runs the cable car and he was telling me he goes up about 50, 60 times a day, depending on the amount of people that are over here. The really clear days are absolutely incredible, but he said what's even the best is when it's kind of raining and the clouds are all around. Most tourists are gonna think that it's not the best thing because they've only got that one opportunity, but it gives you a completely different idea to see the mountain in that state. Over at Montserrat, there are a lot of ways not only to get over here, but back over to Barcelona. You've got trains and then funiculars, or you've even got the option of taking the cable car suspended over the valley. And so you understand how to do it and find out if it's worth it for you. We're gonna take the cable car down to the main train station, catch that back to Barcelona. So come on with. You can buy your tickets online if you know before Montserrat that you want to take the cable car down, or while you're already up here, you come down to the main station. It's eight euros for a one-way ticket, but you also also have the option to pay a little bit more to get the combo which takes you back to Barcelona on the train. The train rides about an hour, the cable card ride down is about five minutes or so. This will definitely give you some of the best views of the entire mountain. Between the cogwheel train and the cable car, I've always thought both of them were really awesome experiences, but if you're afraid of heights, this is probably not the one that you should go with. do is make sure okay, okay. that if you're taking the train back to Barcelona that you match up the timing so that you're not spending too much time waiting for the train. We've got about 10 minutes or so before the next train back to Barcelona. So we got down just in time. But usually when there's a lot of people or you have a long wait, you might not have that same possibility. The nice part is the train station's connected. So we just walk right under this tunnel and we're there. Wait for the train and an hour back to Barcelona. But check out these views. When you buy the combo ticket up top, they give you a separate ticket for the cable car and then they give you the tickets that you need to use for the train. Just remember before you get on the train, you still need to validate them so you'll avoid any problems getting out in Barcelona. It's usually pretty good advice except for when the machines are out of order like they are right now. Just have those tickets on you and you'll be all good. Plenty of time, 4.05, trains leaving Aire Montserrat, getting into Plaza España at 5.05. You have exactly one hour and you've got connections to the green, the red, taxis, all sorts of different ways to get around to the rest of Barcelona. And we made it back from the top of Montserrat to Plaza España here in Barcelona. Now all you gotta do is get to where you need to be. And if you have any other questions about what you can do over on Montserrat, watch this video next.